In 2007, the state of Suriname was sentenced by the AOS in a lawsuit against the Samaka. The Samaka verdict states that the rights of the tribal and indigenous peoples in Suriname must be included in the Surinamese constitution. The well-known land rights issue. The state was given five years to carry out the sentence. After about 15 years this is still not the case. It has remained with modeling promises made by the various governments. Two important points in the Samaka verdict are, FPIC and no more concessions in the Samaka area. FPIC means that if one wants to work in the area, the local residents must gain from it and must first agree to work in the area. However, this is not the case in Suriname. As of 2007, almost all of the Samaka area has been given out as logging and gold mining concessions to third parties without consultation with the Samaka people. The red lines are active requests for concessions, which also are certified concessions. As you can see, is the whole Samaka area marked as concessions. In 2022, a concession has been issued to a Chinese entrepreneur for logging on the left bank of the Suriname River near the village of Pokadrong. This entrepreneur planned to build a bridge over the river to build a road through the forests of several villages. This was stopped after protest and the submission of a petition by the Samaka to the National Assembly of Suriname. The Chinese entrepreneur has continued to build this road through the help of individuals from the Samaka community. The entrepreneur placed pontoons on the river and brought his bulldozers and trucks to the other side of the river. Daily dozens of tree trunks leave the Samaka area via these pontoons towards Paramaribo, without profits for the local communities. The Samaka people who are working with this Chinese entrepreneur, are a few corrupt people who are not respecting the Samaka verdict and the laws of the Samaka traditional collective land use. This is not only a violation of the Samaka verdict, but also a violation of human rights in general, because through this constructed road illegal gold mining will increase in the area and this will lead to pollution of the waterways and ecosystems in the area. This road is forming a tread for the Samaka people, because it stretches from the Samaka area to another neighboring Maroon tribes area, where gold mining and logging polluted most of the waterways and ecosystems. The Association of Samaka Authorities VSG, is against the recent activities in the Samaka territory and will do everything in their power to protect the Samaka people and their forest.